In today's video, we're opening up a massive Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do 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 What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase. It has been a little bit since we bought a collection like in this size, so I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. I don't actually know, it's a mystery collection, so maybe there'll be some crazy stuff. I'm pretty excited, but before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three gold cards, Spirit Reaper, Morphing Jar, and the Five-Headed Dragon. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card or item that we get from this mystery collection, and let me know how much you think it costs before we start. All right, let's get into the items. I still have the receipt in there, that's interesting. All right, the first item we have our sealed structure deck saga of blue eyes white dragon structure deck this is a classic it's been re-released many many times there's a, it's basically a blue eyes white dragon deck so not a very good deck but a very nostalgic deck a lot of cool cards like blue eyes silver scry stuff like that bring blue eyes back and destroy your enemies um probably not though in the current meta probably won't work so well then to an actual good structure deck we have an albath strike so he has not one but three of these so he got the entire play set of everything this was a really good structure deck especially when it came out you could actually play an entire deck of just the structure deck and like actually win tournaments probably not like you know big big terms but you could win like locals it's pretty cool then we have binders so this is going to be interesting to try and show this so i'm going to do my best to not like you know make it too bad we're, we're going to cut off the face cam we're going to go all in on the binders here and you're just going to see the cards which is pretty fun so first we have a red eyes page with a really classic artwork right here i mean not classic it's actually new so it's not classic at all but i really like it there's a uh, there's more classic we have a uh, red eyes black metal dragon we have red eyes flare metal dragon a lot of really cool red eyes in there Okay, cut. Oh, we got another page in here. Then we got a Ghost Rare Red Eyes, one of the hardest cards for us to pull when we opened Ghost in the past, too. It actually was the hardest, took the longest. Gold Rare, we got another Ghost Rare, another Gold. We got an entire play set of Gold and Ghosts. That's pretty awesome. Then a Secret Rare from BBT 2002. That's actually a really nice Red Eyes page. Let's take a look at that. Beautiful. Then we have First Dead SDJ. We have First Dead SDJ, Unlimited SDJ, and we have another First Dead SDJ. So really nice Red Eyes page. Do we have anything else? More Red Eyes. He's a Red Eyes fan for sure. There's an FMR version plus the new uh, Megaton 2022, which is really cool. Got a play set of those. We got the Red Eyes Darkness. Wow, this is a Red Eyes collection for sure. And then the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, of course, naturally. Actually, a pretty solid collection we got going here. Both versions, that's the original, and then the uh, Megaton 2022, I believe. Okay, anything else? Yeah, here comes the Red Eyes Fusion, it looks like. So we have Red Eyes Fusion. We got Dragon Nails. I don't remember that card, but I think I've seen it, but I don't think it's ever been that you know, crazy. All right, a random FMR Metal Morph. Look, there I am. Say hello. Then we have the Blue Eyes Star. We have the Legendary Dragon of White. I love that card. I have a PSA 10 that Rhyme Style gave me. Shout out to Rhyme Style, the legend. Dictator of D, one of the most epic names ever. Oh, Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. Wow, he's not messing around. I play set of those. We got a Gold Rare. So this is actually going to be some value in this collection. I mean, this is not a chump collection by any means. If it's got some good stuff in here, there's a uh, gold rare. Definitely missing some slots. I think you wanted to have like play sets of all these. Uh, the BPT Blue Eyes 2002, you can tell because it's limited edition. If it was unlimited, it would also say uh, 009 instead of 003. And then there it is, the 009 right next to it. Then we have the, you think he has the uh, the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon Retro Pack 2 play set? Probably not, but maybe. We have the uh, Mega Tens here. We have the Legendary Collection Kaibas and the original movie versions. Oh, wow. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Whoa. He does have a place out of the Starlight, so he might not have the Shining Dragon. He's got the place out of the Starlights. He's got the Secrets. Then he's got a place out of the Ulti. Wow, this is a really solid collection. I didn't realize how good this was when he sent this to me. The, je the jump versions. He's got six of those. Wow. Those are actually really sick. I wonder if any of those are gradable. Probably not, but it would be really cool because I would love to have one of those. Rhyme gave me one of those. I think it was Retro Pack 2, though. I think it's the one he gave me. The Alternative Ultimate Dragon is also really sick. The XYZ is very cool. We've got the uh, White Stones of Ancients, Siaryu. Oh, man, there's some good stuff in here. The Serpent, uh, Sinister Serpent, not the TFK, the regular SDD, which looks better, which looks better. Yeah, I said it. Um, a bunch of Rage with Eyes of Blue. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Yeah, just some blue eye support cards right here. Pretty nice. Vision with Eyes of Blue, also very cool. And then a True Light playset. Wow, that actually turned out to be a crazy binder. Not all full or anything, but some really amazing cards inside. Okay, now we have a Z Folio, which is like the biggest binder I've ever seen. So I don't even know if we can even do this let's see if i can't oh it's a four yeah it's a four pocket okay that's why there's a random die at the top just sitting there i should probably take that off we have the nibiru page awesome this is this the hand trap page is what it feels like right now okay this is so difficult to record but a lot of ghost reapers and winter cherries this thing is massive we have ghost ogre and snow rabbits beautiful a lot of different alternate arts different versions the yeah, ghost sister and spooky dogwoods there's 12 of them right there okay four play sets all you could ever need ash blossom wow the ash blossom beautiful any 
Uh, Maximum Crisis. So here's the Maximum Crisis versions. All first dead, so that's pretty solid. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. We have Flood. Flood, I'm guessing, is over here. Do we have any Starlights? We do not have the Starlight version. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be. Okay, it looks like he has all the ashes. And then the... Uh, ooh, okay, no Starlights for the Ghost Mortar either. We did pull one of those recently, which was pretty amazing. The Red Blossom from Underroot. Does this even have another print? I don't think I remember it. Okay, Effect Veilers. No Starlights there. That's okay. DD Crow, same thing. DD Crow, a classic one that we pulled originally. Anything else here? And we've got Malice Lady of Lament. Interesting. Okay, Malice Lady of Lament. Very cool. The Alice Lady of Lament with the Malice. Alice and Malice. The Malice in the Palace. You got to watch out for uh, Metal World Peace. He's coming for you. Okay, we have uh, Loris. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Here's the last binder we have. It's massive and the pages are falling out. So I'm, I'm going to try and show you. This is more like bulky stuff, but it's like some cool stuff. So we're just going to run through it real quick. These are, these are coming out, so I'm just going to pull that. Let's see if we can see anything really crazy here. So there's nothing in that. Here's some old school cards. Wait, is there a, yeah, another page? We have an ash, another Ash Blossom. More hand traps. We got a uh, Damage Red Eyes. Okay. We've got some, oh, the, the Dark Magician Respect. We didn't get any Dark Magicians in the other one, so maybe there are some Dark Magicians in here. Okay, we got some more Blue Eyes. That's fun. It's SKE, so they're not, like, crazy valuable or anything. Math Max, this got hit pretty hard recently. We've got, oh, Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, everyone's favorite movie. Very nice. Unarby Ladies, anything too crazy. Black Wings, all oh, those are really fun. More Black Wings over here. Classic cards like Swords Revealing Light, Red Gecky. I mean, Parallel Twists are not that classic, but classic in Duel Links, Graceful Dice Cool. Some tune cards from Battles of Legend or Brothers or whichever one. That, I think it was Battles of Legend, right? Oh, Soul Servant. That's a good one. Fateful Adventure used to be a crazy valuable card from Grand Creators. Probably not as much anymore. Pot of Dichotomy, not the most desired pot, but it is a card that is a pot card. Man, this is exhausting. So hard to turn these. We have the Mystical Sand. I know, a fusion of Giant Soldier of Stone and Ancient Elf. Somebody explain to me where Giant Soldier of Stone is there. Like, explain in the comments, where is Giant Soldier of Stone? I don't see him. Okay, we have a uh, Invoked. Oh, yeah, good to see that for Alistair. The Albion for all you branded fans. Here's some Six Samurai stuff, which is fun. A super rare Shein. That's actually worth a couple bucks, I think. A Sacred Warrior, PRC1, or Scarred Warrior. I don't think I've ever seen this card. PRC1, that sounds familiar. I know I've seen something. Oh, Gravity Warrior. Wait, what is this? I've seen that card. I don't know what that is. PRC1, let me know. Let me know what that is. Dragon Maids, there you go, all you Dragon Maid fans. There's a page for you guys. Here is an entire playset of Cursed Necrofear Secret Rares. I personally think the secrets look way better, so that's really cool. Then we have some cool stuff. Okay, let's get this thing all the way turned. You know, binders, you gotta be careful with these things. I don't wanna damage any cards. Genzo. We have a Secret Rare, PSV Genzo. That's really cool. Then we've got a First Ed Gold Rare, an Unlimited BPT. That's the Tenzo, very cool. And then the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Very awesome. And then some of the Epsilon and stuff with the uh, Valkyria at the top. I'm on the wrong page, by the way. Better view if you look like that. Black Hoser Soldier page. BLS, BLS Envoy of the End, or Beginning, sorry. And then the Buster Blader with some more Buster Blader stuff down here like this. Oh, look, the Pyramid of Light. We already saw the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, the Blue Eyes Shining, I should say. And then here is the Pyramid of Light with three sphinxes at the very end here we have some cyber dragon stuff it's being covered up by a little shadow there cyber dragon from the tin camera tech fortress we got cyber and dragon very cool way to end this binder this is more of a bulky binder but still some really cool stuff to end it off all right that was the collection we definitely started off with the most banger of a binder there's a lot of really cool cards in there actually a really solid collection i'm really excited to pick it up let me know down below what your favorite card was and i uh, appreciate you guys watching Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Macycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, Inantai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.